Hills Shea Josephine Restaurant on Theatre Row with Play by Play, our show about shows. I'm joined with my friend and New York One colleague, Frank Galella, and the legendary producer, Daryl Roth, whose productions have won seven Pulitzers and seven Tony Awards, including one for the smash hit Kinky Boots. Congratulations. Congratulations, Thank you. Daryl. Thank you. I know it's going very well on Broadway for you right it now. Is. And you've got an upcoming production, a stage adaptation of John Grisham's novel, A Time to Kill. Yes. Uh, tell us a little bit just briefly about the plot. Well, the story is actually about a young lawyer named Jake Brigance who is starting his practice in, in the South, in Mississippi, and he is asked to defend a young black man who has, in the courtroom, killed two white men who are accused of raping his young daughter. Now, when you, you were familiar with the novel, I gather. Yes, by I was familiar with the novel. I'm a huge John Grisham fan. And Daryl, you, you <coughs> then took the, the piece, you developed it down in D.C. at the Arena Stage. What yes. did you learn down there prior to coming to New York, which you'll be on stage here in September. Mm -hmm. Before going to Washington, we hired Rupert Holmes to do the adaptation. And it was very important for both Rupert and our director, Ethan McSweeney, and Mr. Grisham to actually see it on stage. And so going to Washington to do a production was basically our developmental stage. And it was so John Grisham could see it and say, yes, I, you have my blessing to go forward. And Rupert could see what was taken from the novel um, and this is based purely on the novel, not the film, by the way. That's right. There was obviously a yes. film uh, yes. a as well. Was he pleased? Was Grisham pleased with the film? I think that he was happy it was made into a film, but I don't think that he wanted this stage version to be taken from that cloth, but rather from the original story of the novel. So it's purely based on his story. To what extent was Ethan McSweeney, and perhaps you as the producer, influenced by classic courtroom dramas that had come before this? Well, interestingly enough, we were very influenced by that because originally the story was a bit more sprawling and there were many locations. And what Rupert and Ethan uh, and I came to realize was that set in the courtroom, it became much more intense and much more focused. And it's sort of in the, in the genre of 12 Angry Men or Inherit the Wind. And I think the tension, and of course now it has become such a timely story. Sadly, Sadly. it's almost, you know, what we hear on the news every day. Right. Um, you know, Inter race and justice, where does that interplay come together? And the fact that we ask these questions in this play, what is justice? What is morality? Where do we take a stand and defend our family knowing that it's against the law and will we get a fair trial? Basically, it was finding that core and putting it in the courtroom so that it, it had that intensity and focus. It's definitely going to be a hot ticket this fall. Get your tickets now. Thank you, Frank, for joining us. Thank you, Daryl. And you, thank Frank. you for this edition of Play by Play. You can always follow me at artinfo.com.